Hi, Mike here. In this video, which is intended for Excel newbies, I uncover the secrets of this little paintbrush icon known as the Format Painter. Its purpose is to copy formatting from one cell to another, thereby potentially saving you a great deal of time. Let me show you. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. This spreadsheet is showing a sales summary for a cafe, and I want A1 and A11 to have blue background, white text, bold and italics. Now I could manually apply the formatting to both cells, but instead I'm going to use the format painter. So in A1, I will manually apply the formatting I need. So bold, italic, blue background, white text. And then staying on A1, click on the format painter button on the ribbon. And as I move the mouse into the spreadsheet, you'll see the mouse pointer has got a little paintbrush next to it. Click on A11 and it's copied the formatting from A1 to A11. I can also use the format painter to copy formatting from a cell and paint it onto a range of cells. So first of all, I'm going to select B1 through to K1. I'm going to align those to the right so they line up with the numbers. I'm going to set the background color to green, the text color to white and make them bold. And what I want to do now is copy the formatting from one of those cells, let's say B1, and paint it onto the cells on row 11. So staying on B1, click on the format painter, move the mouse pointer into the spreadsheet and paint over the cells that I want to copy the formatting to. I can even copy the formatting from a range of cells to a range of cells. Here, I've applied formatting to A1 through to K7, and I want to take that formatting and apply it to A11 to K17. So I'll select all of the cells that contain the formatting I want to copy, which is A1 to K7, click the Format Painter, and then all I have to do is click A11. Now that will only work where the data we're copying the format from and the data we're copying the format to has the same structure. Here I have five rows of data in the top part, the drinks, but four rows of data in the lower part, the food. So if I select A1 to K7, click the Format Painter and then click on A11, that applies the formatting from rows 1 to 7 to the seven cells starting at A11. And you can see what's happened there because the two ranges are not the same size. Here, I want to set the width of column C to be the same width as column A. Rather than finding the width of column A and then setting the width of column C to be exactly the same, if I click on the letter A to select the whole column, then click the Format Painter and click the letter C. What it does is it sets the width of column C to be the width of column A. Be aware that any other formats that are being applied to column A are copied over to column C, not just the column widths. So if I click again on the letter A here on a different sheet, click the Format Painter and click the letter C, you can see that it's taken all the formatting from column A and applied it to column C. Finally, suppose I want to copy the formatting from columns A and B over to D, E, G, H and J, K. Rather than doing this three times, what I'll do is select columns A and B and A1 is a merged cell and double click the Format Painter. Now, when you double click the Format Painter, it keeps it active. So if I click on D1, the format paint you can see is still active. Click on G1 and click on J1. To turn the format painter off, you either press escape or click the format painter button again. And it's now switched off. 
Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day. Thank you.